Okay, so Nula's just come out of the water, and we know now that the Nula is going to suffer a degree of afterdrop. Now, this afterdrop is quite common amongst all swimmers. If you spend any time in cold water, you can be sure that when you come out, your core body temperature is going to drop slightly. And the reason is quite simple, because you have your skin, which is in contact with the cold water, your muscles, your ligaments, your tendons have all cooled down. You've had a little bit of vasoconstriction, trying to keep you warm, so your body temperature close to the surface will be in and around what the water temperature is. So as your blood starts to distribute around it around your body again, what's going to happen is it's going to circulate that cold blood back into your core and that is what's known as afterdrop. An afterdrop can be very serious, especially if somebody is hypothermic, because when that blood starts to redistribute around the body, we get a further drop in the core and that can mean the difference between a conscious and an unconscious casualty and then it's a whole extremely different area to treat somebody who is unresponsive on a small boat in the middle of the ocean. So we have to really take care when it comes to after drop and that's why we use gear like the blizzard gear, like thermal insulation because we want to ensure that that does not happen. We have to stabilize the casualty. Um, I swam just only 45 minutes today, but the temperatures are between 7 and 8 and 9 degrees. So with the wind chill of a northeast wind today, that was enough. I think the most important thing is that there isn't any wind inside here. And normally because we, um, we exit the water and your clothes are quite remote. So uh, to actually be in an environment where I'm not getting cold while I'm standing is amazing. And I think I could actually get dressed inside in the bag. Of course, the advantage of this bag, because it's triple foil, is that what happens is, is you, you have a bit of cold water incapacitation. You're, not, you're certainly not hypothermic no. after your swim. So, but you are going to get colder. You know you're going to get colder here. So what the bag does, it stops the convection currents, it stops the conduction currents if you sit down, and it keeps that heat in. And this is important. And Blizzard make these bags so they're very transportable. These sort of bags, which are the old, the old style foil blankets, aren't really much good for what you're doing here. No. Because the simple reason is, firstly, they blow away. Secondly, if you're encapsulated in this, um, it was easy to transport them down. They're all vacuum packed. So really, what, what that's doing is keeping your body nice and warm. And as I say, you're not shivering in front of me, which is um, certainly an indicator for me that you're not that cold. No. So, time to get changed. Thank you very much, Lula.